What's going on guys? Sachi is here. Welcome to I don't know. Well, this is a late reaction video about what EA did with the market and the price ranges and stuff. I would have done this earlier, but obviously you guys knew that I um, wasn't uploading Monday and Tuesday and yesterday I did have to upload Manum at Showdown because we need to stick to a schedule with that. So thought I'd upload this today. Um, I will have my Q&A for my 1K Q&A out on Saturday and um, Train to Glory will not be stopping guys. It will be out on Sunday. It might even be the last episode because I might win Division 1. We will see about that. So I have quite a few things to talk about here. Um, yeah, so we're just going to get straight into this. Um, in the background you're going to see some packs being opened and me packing some really fucking good players so stay tuned to this video i don't know how long it will be but you are going to see me pack some really fucking good players anyway so um let's just get straight into this because if you didn't know if you haven't been on twitter or anything or don't know what ea did basically they put caps on players so they put a maximum price a minimum price on every single card on ultimate team so um, this was to basically stop coin sellers and obviously we know now that they haven't stopped coin sellers because they're already back up and running and just have a different way to uh, buy people's cards. So effectively what EA just did is completely pointless because they did it to stop coin sellers. It stopped them for one day and they've really gone back up and it seems kind of pointless now. Anyways, I just want to talk about my feelings, like the bad feelings I have about this because... For me, it's not about the coin sellers. Yeah, I get that they're against terms of service and everything. It's illegal as such. And I know people are ranting and everything and putting the hashtag change ultimate team on Twitter. Twitter is live the last few days, man. It has been, you know, uh, it's been pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, then follow me at Sachi is here. Um, because I was going ham at EA. I was really pissed off. But many people were pissed off because of the coin sellers and YouTubers were getting pissed off because, oh, they'll lose their sponsor that and their, like, sponsor income or whatever. I don't care. I don't have a coin sponsor. I don't intend to get one anyways. For me, what, is, what I have found over the last few days is that the market is complete shit. You can't sell players. You can't buy players that are, like really expensive so I wanted to do a, an informed squad builder and I wanted to get informed Larm. he's not on the fucking market there's no team in the years on the market there's a, like loads of informs that are not even on the market like what the fuck yeah forget about the coin sellers and everything but with this max min price it's complete bullshit because you can't play with whatever card you have or whatever card is on the ultimate team I mean so basically you're stuck to just playing with um, the expensive players you have in your club unless you pack them. And that brings me on to EA trying to force people to buy FIFA points, which is what, £80? For 12k FIFA points, it is £80. You're paying £40 for the fucking game and you're paying double for 12k FIFA points. It is a fucking joke. How many packs do you open with 12k FIFA points? I think it's like 80 packs. If you open 7.5k packs, I think it's like 80 packs. With 1 million coins, you get about 80 packs, right? Or something, I don't even know. But, you know, for like £7 a mil, in terms of, compared to £80 for 12k fever points, that is a fucking rip-off. And if anyone is buying fever points, you are dumb. Yeah, you are dumb. Because why are you spending that much money? Like, it's a complete waste of money on a fucking game. Like, I get why people, you know, buy coins and everything. It's cheap. You know, I've even bought coins. But certainly at this point in the game, it is complete bullshit to buy FIFA points. Maybe at the start of the game, I can understand that. But now it's a complete joke. Also, um, in terms of selling players, like, I'm trying to sell loads of players. I have about 40 Kelvins in my transfer list because I want us to invest in him because I thought he'd go out of packs because he transferred to a club that is not in, in FIFA. Yet he's still in packs because EA for some reason didn't take him out of packs. And I've lost a fair bit. Of, well, I wouldn't say a lot of coins. I've lost some coins, like not a lot. But um, I can't sell him because his he's at his minimum price. And this is with so many players. People are listing him up at a min price. So it seems so stupid to have a minimum price. Okay, you have a maximum price, fair enough. But if you, if you have a minimum price, 
people feel like they don't have to sell because that will be the minimum they get. Certainly for expensive players, they know they won't lose um, even more coins because there's a min price. It's like a safety net. So they will just keep their players and won't bother selling them. And with this minimum price, this takes me on to another point, which is trading. Trading is so much harder. I wouldn't say you can't trade. Obviously, you can trade. Um, but it is a lot harder to trade. And a lot of players are already at the minimum price. So it's kind of pointless to trade. However, um, I am going to try something with chemistry styles on players for my Train to Glory episode on Sunday. So we'll see how it goes there. Um, again, it might be the, the last episode, so it might not mat matter too much. Also, what EA did a couple of days ago was release a man of the match, Ronaldo. Ronaldo scored two goals in a Champions League game against Schalke. Yes, he broke the record for the all-time Champions League goal scorers, but that's going to be broken here and there because Messi's basically um, on, well, nearly at the same as Ronaldo's goals. So that could be changed every flipping match. Um, and... It seems pointless for them to, to release a man of match Ronaldo when he scored two goals and they lost. Like normally they only release special cards for Ronaldo and Messi when they get hat tricks at least. So and, and they also release 50k packs. They never release 50k packs when they release a man of the match. It never happens. And um, you are actually going to see some 50k packs um, during this video, but it just seems very pointless. And they they I feel they're just making people try and buy FIFA points to open these packs, trying to get Ronaldo. Um, and, well, that, or they're trying to make people just to spend their coins so that they, uh, so there's less coins on the market and less packs are open. So that's my theory anyway over that. Like, if they're going to implement it in FIFA 16, fair enough, because I think it, it may work well at the start of FIFA 16, but at the middle of FIFA 15, when Coin prices are so low, people have loads of coins. People have lost loads of coins. I could have sold my team the Di Maria for 15 mil. I can only sell him for about 8.5 mil now. So I'm not going to bother selling him. Um, I should have sold him, but I didn't expect EA would drastically change the market like this. So, like I said, they should have tried... I know that they're, they're testing it out for FIFA 16. That's what it seems to be. They should have done it after team of the season. Then people wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, it's just fucking annoying. Anyways, in terms of how this is going to affect my series, I'm not going to be doing the Guest of Club again. Um, reason be, well, it depends. So I'm probably going to have a little break with it for a couple of weeks and then maybe bring it back. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, because obviously it, there is the problem of, you know, buying people's cards. So they may have to list multiple cards for, for that to work because that's obviously what the coin sellers are doing. And with Train to Glory, I'm hoping that it will get finished soon. Um, obviously you'll see on Sunday if I do finish it, I'm two wins away from winning it. Um, winning Division 1 and finishing it. But in terms of trading, I'm still going to try and trade. Um, I'm going to try a couple of methods that I have in my mind at the minute and see if they work and then obviously show you guys if that works. So that is it for this um, opinion based video. I'm not really ranting too much, I'm just stating my opinion. Leave in the comments your opinions on what EA have done to transfer market. Uh, I just think it's a bad time to do it right now. They should have done it after the team of the season if they were going to do it. Uh, but please do leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in my Q&A on Saturday.